Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper, and TireRack.com. You know, the last few years have been great ones for Buick. Once the weaker of General Motors' premium car divisions, this week's road test by request mark has experienced an impressive renaissance. In fact, Buick's LeSabre is now the best-selling full-size car in America. Meanwhile, a new Park Avenue is ready to set higher standards for the front-wheel drive luxury car sedan market. Yes, for 1997, that rejuvenation continues as Buick's top sedans accelerate their move uptown. But moving uptown doesn't necessarily mean moving away from your roots. Take this 1997 LeSabre, for example. Since it's already tops with the over 50 set, its designers at Buick chose subtle improvements over radical redesign. Most of the alterations are to the exterior with a slightly smaller Jaguar-like grille and more compact fixed lens headlights. Front fenders are now steel instead of plastic. New side moldings lead us to the rear where tail lights are also new and the license plate holder is integrated into the deck lid. Under the hood lies the newest form of GM's 3800 V6, dubbed Series 2. It first appeared in the 95 Riviera. The smoothest GM V6 yet, it produces 205 horsepower and 230 pound-feet of torque. That's a 35 horsepower boost over last year and makes for a much faster LeSabre. Zero to 60 in 7.6 seconds and a quarter mile in 15.8 seconds at 87 miles per hour. That makes this the quickest Buick sedan we've tested since 1988's GNX muscle car. And handling is sharper, partly thanks to our car's Grand Touring Suspension's variable effort magnetic power steering. It delivers the light feel that mature drivers demand while adding more feedback for the rest of us. The same goes for the standard anti-lock brakes, which provide firm, strong stops from their front disc rear drum combination. While fuel mileage, EPA rated at 19 city and 30 highway averaged 22 miles per gallon for us. We regret to report, however, that the LeSabre's interior styling has changed little. The wood tone dash in particular remains flat and stodgy looking. Gauges are small for a car aimed at drivers entering their bifocal years. Though the new seats in our limited test car, while a bit short, offer better padding and support for backs of all ages. And while the dash may look a bit archaic, all switches are perfectly placed. The Limited's dual zone automatic climate controls are straightforward, as is the optional cassette and CD stereo. Rear seat room has always been Buick stock in trade, and the full-size LeSabre continues to offer plenty, while the lower lift 17.1 cubic foot truck will swallow plenty of luggage. But unlike many luxury cars, the LeSabre won't take a big bite out of your wallet. Base price for the LeSabre Custom is $22,545. Our limited grade test car starts at $26,095. And fully equipped, it still tops out at only $27,996. That's a lot of luxury and comfort at a family car price. But if you want to go even further uptown, then you might want to wait till fall for the 1997 Buick Park Avenue. All new from the ground up, the Park Avenue will share the more rigid chassis of the Oldsmobile Aurora. Chassis improvements include a switch from a four-piece to a stronger two-piece floor pan and thinner hydroform steel roof pillar supports that act as a safety cage, as well as reinforced door structures and a magnesium instrument panel support. Under the aluminum hood, two versions of Buick's impressive 3800 Series 2 V6 engine provide motivation. The standard 205 horsepower model, which is shared with the LeSabre, drives the base Park Avenue. While top grade Ultra models carry the Riviera's latest supercharged V6, it pumps out 240 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Suspension upgrades include a switch to lighter aluminum components and rubber isolated subframes stop road vibration from reaching the passenger compartment which is bigger and more luxurious. Total interior space now measures a huge 130.3 cubic feet, or almost as big as the disappearing Roadmaster. Everything is new from the arch dash to the plush bucket seats, which feature seat-mounted safety belts. Other new features include a standard air filtration system in the Ultra's climate controls, and a moisture sensor that automatically activates the windshield wipers which we needed along with the available traction control on our first drive through wet California countryside. 
But even on slippery mountain curves, the Big Park Avenue felt nimble and sure-footed, and we look forward to giving it a real workout back home this fall. That's when we'll also find out how much it costs, though we estimate base prices for the standard model Park Avenue to be about $28,500. Ultra prices should start at about $34,500. That's serious luxury for the money and serious competition for other luxury brands. And that, in a nutshell, is the story for Buick for 1997. Revived, revitalized, and moving uptown.